Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tales Trails into Reverie. In the last part, we headed off into the Geofront, took down some monsters, and went to the signing ceremony where the expected happened. The ceremony was interrupted, but it was interrupted by Rufus, who we thought was in jail. Then we also saw, we saw we also saw some other surprised faces surprising faces as well. We saw the former president Dieter. We saw the former mafia leader um, Garcia, which was actually kind of surprising. And we saw two nameless people as well. Uh, we fought Rufus, got our asses handed to us. Lloyd got hit pretty hard. Uh, something happened with the townspeople that they were manipulated or something. And uh, Crossbell is once again in the hands of the enemy. So that's not good. My bracer friends and Lisa and everybody else were a little late to the party. I could have helped them. They could've, I could have used their help. Unfortunate. But uh, we're off to, I guess we're off to Reen's route now. So uh, let's check it out. It's locked. Reen, what's up, buddy? On here. Uh oh. このままでは橋の下に隠れるわよ。早く教官のところに向かわないと。あの二人の動けないし、いずれにせよ、このままでは雪解け水に体温を奪われ、危険です。どうにかして退避を。それで身を隠したつもりですか？That's a fancy trick。資格がない。これがアイスメイデンの本気。The hell's even happening here? Lord. Several hours before 10 a.m. <gasps> We're in Ymir. God, we haven't been here since fucking Cro got Cold Steel 2. だったのにまだ雪が残ってやがんのか。まあ、だいぶ溶け始めたけどな。1 <笑> あ、2 
アルフィン殿下とエリゼさんを拉致した時以来ですね<笑>ともかくリーンさんの久しぶりの帰郷とかまずはシュバルツァー男爵閣下への報告に参りましょうかはい父と母にお生後たちを紹介しないと教官のご両親に挨拶ですかあなんか緊張してきたかもお父様とお母様にご挨拶どんな自己紹介がいいかしら<笑>シュバルツァの数々の武勇でも語ってやろうか頼むから余計なことは言わないでくれうんアティーナベスト girl ベスト girl don't at me she's the best Welcome to the home of Baron Schwarzer. We've been eagerly awaiting your arrival. Whoa, real maid. You can tell she's been well trained. I didn't expect to find you helping out, Maple. You've gotten way better at welcoming guests. And the Phoenix Wings have trained me well, young Reen. You're, se you're seeming a lot more grown up yourself. Just not as much as me. And suddenly, all pretenses of professionalism slip away. Now, come, please come this way. Baron and his lady Schwarzer are waiting in the study. Who's she? An old friend of mine who works at the, Phoenix, at the Phoenix Wings. She's got a year on me and is determined never to let me forget it. You seem rather close, but... Looks to me like old friends. All friends, no benefits. I figured Schwarzer would, be, would have every chick in town fawning over him. I wouldn't have put it past him either, to be honest. Is this really what you, th what you think of me? Clearly nobody here would dare to get in Elise, Elise's way. Here we go again. I'm starting to feel a little sorry for him. <laughs> that makes two of us. Something wrong, young Reen. Sorry, we're coming now. Oh boy. Tosan, Kasan, Tadaima Modorimasta. Tio Schwarzer. Yeah, we haven't seen these guys since Cold Steel 2. よく帰ってきたな、リー。<笑>こうして顔を見るのは半年ぶりくらいですね。ええ、なかなか思うように里帰りできなくてすみません。最近はエリゼの方も忙しくて、久しく帰れていないそうですが、父さんと母さんによろしく伝えるよう頼まれました。うん、あの子もアストライアの学生会長として頑張っていることだろう。頑張りすぎて無理していないと良いのですがエリゼなら心配はいりません後輩から慕われているようですしアルフィン殿下のように頼りになる友人もいますそれに不定の輩が近づくことのないよう俺もなるべく目を光らせていますから<笑><笑>そうかむしろその過保護ぶりが心配ではエリゼ先輩もいろいろと大変ですねご無沙汰しております大爵閣下ルシア夫人リーベルト少佐歓迎するよ今の時勢において鉄道憲兵隊が繁忙を極めていることは想像に耐えやすいユミルにいる間だけでもぜひゆっくりと骨を休めてくれお心遣いありがとうございますそして彼らがはい以前にも話した俺の教え子たちですクルトバンダールです。リーン教官の指導のエヴェージョンタンキビケンサーを重ねております。キミガレーノバンダール流にはタグインマレナル総剣術の使い手か。優れた資質を持ちながらそれに甘んじず、誇示する様子もない。リーンからも聞いているが、その若さでは実に得難いことだ。少し課題評価な気はしますか<笑>決してそんなことはないさ。アッシュカーバイドだ。俺に関してはさぞ手を焼くやつだとか、そんな感じで聞いてんじゃねえか
君がアッシュ君か<笑>むしろその逆だそこや態度の悪さはあくまで君の表層部分に過ぎんその実頭が切れ気配りも聞いた文校の皆に頼られる存在と聞いているはあ<笑>てめえくだらねえことを吹き込んでんじゃねえぞ<笑>素直じゃないなアッシュさんはそういうタイプのツンデレキャラですからミュゼイーグレットと申しますディーン教官とエリゼ先輩にはいろいろとお世話になりましたミュゼ君か君の事情も聞いているその年で多くの重責を担う役目はさぞかし大変だろういえディーン教官が心の支えになってくれているので平気ですあらそれはまた<笑>父さんたちの前でも遠慮がないな<笑>エリゼからも聞いてはいるがやはりただものではないようだなどうかリーンとエリゼのことをこれからもよろしく頼むはいお任せくださいお父様またどさくさに紛れて油断も隙もありませんねはじめましてユーナ・クロフォードと言いますその入学前にリーン教官に助けられたことがあって今も助けられっぱなしですけどいつか自分も多くの人の助けになれるよう精進させてもらっています君がクロスベルのなかなか良い心意気だええ聞いていた通りひたむきで元気なお嬢さんですねえっと教官は私のことをどんなふうにああ困難な状況でも決して諦めず周りを照らしてくれる存在だとそんな君のことを頼りにしているそうだそんなことをでみんなの前で言われるとめちゃくちゃ恥ずかしいというかなんだか俺まで照れくさくなった<笑>もはや今さらですけどねちょっぴりジェラシーです<笑>アルティナ・オライオンです。ある ?2 年前、北の両兵のユミル襲撃に乗じて、エリゼさんとアルフィン殿下をさらった、超本人です。アルティナさん、私は。本来ならここに招かれるべき存在ではありませんですがせっかくの機会なのであの時は本当に申し訳ありませんでしたアルティナそこまで気にしていたんだな顔を上げなさい二人に怪我を負わせたわけでもないし君は命令に従ったまでのことその意味でも火を感じる必要はないそれはだが私にも言いたいことはあるありがとうアルティナ君え内戦後政府のオーダーで各地に赴いたリーンを一年以上にわたってサポートしてくれたそうじゃないかリーンの父親としてどうか改めて礼を言わせてほしいいいえそれは任務ですから<笑>だとしてもだそれに今のあなたは自分で選んでこの場所にいるのでしょうはい今は自分の意思で教官や皆さんのいる7組に在籍していますあるいい返事だな<笑>ならば君を歓迎しない理由はないなこんなにも素晴らしい教え子たちに恵まれるとはリーンも幸せ者だなええ俺もそう思います Well it's enough talking for now Well let's say you all to Let's say you all to some lunch You had a long journey unless I'll be starving Not to mention it 
Now my controller's dead! That's true, we did set off rather early. Thank you for your kindness. I can't wait to sample the culinary delights of our instructor's home. I'll have everything ready as soon as I can. I got some excellent pheasant meat during my morning hunt. You're welcome. You're, you're going to love it. You went out hunting first thing in the morning? Someone must have been fired up. Your parents are such, are such wonderful people. <laughs> Tell me about it. Oh, that was delicious. I knew the meat would be fresh, but your garden raised vegetables were delicious as well, Lady Schwarzer. That meal was the perfect balance of rustic and flavorful. And they weren't being stingy about the portions either. I've never tasted a wild strawberry tart as, well, as fine as that. The tea afterwards was first rate too. I actually think I might have eaten a bit too much. I'm just happy we could satisfy you all. Either way, you'll be, we'll get out of your way now. But if there's anything you need, please don't hesitate to call on us. Thank you. So, Major, now that I've got the chance to ask, there's one thing I've been wondering. Why exactly did you call us here? All Principal Aurelia told us was that we were here for a special assignment. Whatever it is, it clearly concerns the RMP too. I understand your curiosity, and actually there's a good chance why, you're the, why you are the only class here. However, I'm afraid it's not my place to elaborate. So, someone else will be telling us. Regardless, it'll be a wh about a while longer before everything is ready. You haven't been home for six months, Marine, so why don't you take the chance to walk around Ymir while you wait? I imagine the rest of you would enjoy the opportunity to take in the sights, too. Huh, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Most of you had never been here before, so how about I show you all around? I must admit, that is rather tempting. But instructor, it's rare you're afforded a chance to come back here. There must be some things you want to do to without us. Yeah, we can show ourselves around, no problem. It's not like we're babies, you know. We'll be all right. We'll be all right on our own. Well, if you insist. I appreciate the sentiment, but it kind of stings to be shot down like that. But I guess I'll do what they say and go around and see how everyone in Mir is doing. Carrying over bonds. If you chose to carry over clear data from Cold Steel Trails of Cold Steel Four, the bonds Reen has formed will be carried over as well. If Reen formed a special bond with a female character, where that character will be marked with his heart symbol and join the party with a higher link level than normal. You can also take this chance to change whatever character you want Reen to have formed a special bond with without playing with Cold Steel 4. What's that supposed to mean? Choose which partner... Choose which character Reen formed a special bond with. The character you chose here will receive bonus link experience and you choose the bonus. Oh, so you can change it. Okay, interesting. You know what, I'm a loner. Well, obviously... You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna go with you know the canon story, obviously people would probably go for Elise. I'm not doing that. Altina was the best was the, had the best character development out of out of every single one of the one of these guys. So obviously, I'm gonna be sticking with Altina. Absolutely. All the characters who reach Max and bond them with Rain in the Clear Day you carried over will be marked with a star and will start with a higher link level. All the characters that you will select here will receive bonus link experience, but only those marked with the star symbol will receive full additional link level. Sure, the shoes will here we will see bonus XP. Ugh. That's everybody except Ash, Elliot, and Magaius. Really, I thought I had it every I thought I, thought I had everybody. <laughs> well, I might as well go with everybody. Everybody. Rain special summon game link experience. Characters reinforced with game link experience. Whatever. Choose to carry over a clear data from Ghost for the characters mark marked with heart and star symbols will begin additional Okay, you already said this already. Still gonna be back home. God I'm finally game I'm making I'm finally getting to make good with them. I promise to bring Altina here too. I hope she enjoys herself while she's here. Anyway, I should get going. I don't now. I don't know if that 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 little scene might be different from, between who you chose as your uh, um, love interest. It might be different. I don't know. Anyway, I should get going. It might be worth checking on the others if I run into them too. 
I receive bonus items and tribute to the releases of Cold Steel 3 and 4. And finishing for Cold Steel 4. Alright. So what do we got here? You got you all you all got like two S two S breaks, but Green only has one. How sad. Alright. Gemini. Alright. Uh oh. I don't- I didn't get reached. I didn't check this out. No! So I got a bonus item. Oh, I got all oh, of these two. Auto CP up, two per turn, and nine hearts. Grand Cordon. Holy shit. Alright. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh. Okay. Got some costumes. Roland's twin swords? <gasps> yes! So, Link level. Altina starts at level 5. Cool. We got Ring's black attire. You got the old black attire from Cold Steel 4. I'm gonna go with that because I kind of like his black attire compared to his, nor his normal. Oh, we got her travel wear. Standard, standard stuff. I'm gonna go with that. Fuck the uniforms. Travel wear. It's, it's a shame because I don't have I don't have her I don't have the costume that I used in Cold Steel 4 for her, which suited her very well actually. The bunny the bunny outfit, whatever whatever it was. Wetsuit. What that. I've always kinda liked her. I've always kinda liked this costume, honestly, if you ask me. Oh, I guess you I guess you can't really wear that. Oh, you can. No hats. I hate hats. Muse. We got the travel wear. It's a shame I don't have the different hairstyles for her though. Her uh the purplish hair that had her uh, that had on her suited her very well in Cold Steel 4. Let's go with that. Let's go with our old outfits. All right, what do we got for ornaments? Nice. All right, quip. Get the strength up. I'm gonna give Altina gets special priority because you know why not? Plus she's kind of lacking in HP compared to everybody else. Well, except for you. All right, nice.
this is a bed in here. Uh, it's a bed. All right, I don't want to go to bed. Man, I haven't been here since Cold Steel 2. It's been so long since we've actually been to Ymir. Alright. Hello, you two. What's up? Join the footpath. All oh, the costumes changed back. Why? We certainly are. Must be wonderful having a place like this in the middle of your village. It's one of Ymir's biggest selling points, to be sure. If you don't mind, I think I might join you. Ah, oh, this really warms you up. It truly does. I can feel my fatigue just fading away, too. It's strange how effective it is, given how little your body is, act is actually inside of it. So, what were you two talking about before I came over? You, actually. Me. Specifically, we were talking about that power of yours. The curse's influence completely disappeared as a result of the final rivalry. But your specific power still remains, correct? Yeah, the seed that originally gave it, gave it to me is gone. The power itself has developed to the point where it's essentially on its own thing now. Oh, but there's no need to worry. I've got it large under control now. Largely implies that there's still the possibility you may lose control of it. I can't deny that, but I'm devoting myself to making sure it doesn't happen. Isn't that... W isn't that we don't trust you? We simply don't trust your unfortunate habit of choosing to sacrifice yourself at the drop of a hat. I heard that the first time you lost control of your power was here in Ymir. Because you were trying to protect El Elise from a ferocious monster in the path of behind the village. Found out about that, huh? Still, I'm afraid that's just who I am. I can't promise that I won't endanger myself for those I care about again. And Elise isn't the only one that's, that one that's true for. Your perspective is logical in theory, but those who make such sacrifices don't understand just how painful they can be for those they meant to mean to protect. Especially when they leave you, leave you completely alone. Milliam! I think she's back. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Besides, she came back in the end, so I have plenty of time to punish her for what she did. I'm sure you mean to thank her for what she did. Incorrect. それと、教官には引き続き私の成長を見守っていただかないとまだまだ教えてもらいたいことは山のようにありますし。I won't leave you. Don't worry. On a, on a note, an entirely dissimilar note. Uh, on a not entirely dissimilar note. When will we be going to the on the date you promised the instructor? Wait, what date? This is the first time I'm hearing of this. Because I never promised anything like that. I can't believe you would simply forget. You agreed to it before our exams last month. <clears throat> Did I? It's almost time for the end of the term exams. It's been a wild year, but I want each of you to prepare properly so you can show off the results of your hard work. You in particular, Muse. There's no need to hide your talents anymore. I want you to give this everything you've got. Instructor, that's tough. That's a tough ask. But if you promise to give me a reward, I might be able to make that happen. You really are a handful. Well, let's see. If you manage to take the number one spot in the combined rankings of the main campus, I'll happily treat you to a meal. <clears throat> sure enough, she placed at the top of rankings without breaking a sweat. Ada must Ada must have been furious at placing second. <laughs> what can I say? Love triumphs overall. <clears throat> <laughs> Can't argue with that. Your motives are worth a ra are, wor are, wor are worth a raised eyebrow, but you did really well. So, well done, Muse. I'm proud of you. <laughs> and I suppose a promise is a promise. When we're done here in Ymir, I'll make time for us to go for me our meal. Is that acceptable? Yeah, I can hardly wait to spend a whole day with you and to get to dinner get dinner at the end. 
You're pretending to mishear me on purpose, aren't you? Those exams were a small price to pay to go on a date with the man of my dreams. I can place them place in any position you desire, from the top again all the way down to the bottom. You can deliberately rank bottom. Well, luck would factor into that one, so I would have to say bottom three to be certain. Can't you just like not answer any question? That was I would definitely put you at the bottom. <laughs> just leave everything blank. It's like competing against someone playing by entirely different rules. Coming here has gotten rid of my physical fatigue, but my mental fatigue has really jumped up to its take its place. I think we're gonna get out. What about you two? We'll stay in a little longer. You still have the issue of your obsession with your sister to discuss. Now I'm really leaving. <laughs> I mean, she's they're not wrong. They're, they're not wrong. I have to get in my foot bath. the awkward silence. Cool. Nice. It's a whole party in here. Well, if it isn't rain, welcome back. Long time to see you, Camilla. You look well. What's that? I look young and my complexion is perfect. You sweet talker. <laughs> you really haven't changed. Aw, uh, come now. That's not true. I've been in the rare... I've been in the rare... I, I have business lately. Speaking of which, have you heard about this? It's Lake Lord's newest fishing gear. I ordered way too many sets. And on top of that, they sent me new rods and part of this parts of as a bonus. Can I take them off my hands? Um, are you sure? Of course. I'm sure this stuff would be better be used in the hands of a knowledgeable fisherman like you. Give me my fishing rods. No need for things. I just like seeing you happy. I'll be running the shop as usual, so feel free to drop in whenever. Will do. Fishing, huh? It's starting to warm up, but it's a little up a little, so it's a perfect time to cast light in the mountain stream. I should give it a whirl once I have some free time. You should. Do you have a moment? What is it, Camilla? That girl looking at our sock over there is pretty cute. Is she your girlfriend? She's one of my students, actually. Ah, uh, from your school. Hmm, you certainly seem probably close. I figured you brought your girlfriend home with you. Well, we've been through hell and back together, so... I wonder who you bring home next. Someone from your class? Or perhaps Princess Alfin? Camilla? Huh. Oh boy. Alright. I can buy a new fishing rod, sure. I can buy more books? I'll buy seven of these. Everything else is too pretty expensive. It's pretty expensive. How many battle scoops do I have? I got ten. That should be fine. Looking to grab a souvenir. Yeah, for my family. Oh, and for Jessica and Louise as well. This place sells all sorts of rare stuff. Kind of reminds me of, ne of Neo Suiyan Imports. They both carry Eastern goods, it's true. Since a lot of their stuff comes from this Republic, they were out of stock last year. But now things are finally, come, come, finally back to normal. Thank goodness, trade is recovered. Agreed. What is it, Instructor? Nothing, I just thought you'd be on more be on more edge today. You're surprisingly calm. I mean, today's the science ceremony, Crossbell. Yeah. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't thinking about, about, about it. It's part of me that wants to be home for such a monumental occasion. Uh, so I just, um, for, I'd hate to say this, but things are uh, not looking too good. I probably should have stayed. I'd feel kind of left out if I was the only one who didn't get, get, didn't get to come to Ymir. I belong with Class 7. Yuna. By the way, I heard something from Randy. He told me you played a big part in the Operation Liberate Crossbill last month. Oh, uh, <laughs> that wasn't that big a deal. I just helped Lloyd and the others a teeny bit. Hey, are you really okay with staying at the branch campus? It's the end of the school year, so you should have been able to transfer back to the Crossbill at Randy. Heck, I bet they'd love to have you at the police academy again. So you want me gone then? No, that's not what... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. It's true that I regret not being able to properly graduate from the police academy. 
But right now, my time at the branch campus is even more important. I said it earlier. It's where I belong. I see. <laughs> I know. There's still a lot I want to teach you, too. Anyway, anything I learned at Thor's is sure to be useful in the future. Whether it's for myself or to help strengthen the relationship between Crossbow and the Empire, I'm going to be counting, counting on you to teach me the good stuff, Instructor. Give yourself a deal. Better get that brand of yours ready. Well, uh, she's gonna be very uh, distraught when she learns about what's going on in Crossbell and what happened to Lloyd. Lord Rain, you're home, eh? How are things at school? Really busy as we prepare for the new school year, but super fulfilling. How are things going here, Leo? Same old, same old. You see how my old, you see how my wife is, right? Are you gonna be sticking around for long? I'll handle all your orbit modification, weapon upgrade needs. Thanks a lot. Oh, but before I forget, have you heard about the Arcus 2 got an update? Yeah, the Reinford group got in touch with us. I see, I hear the slots got a boost. Correct, you can strengthen them up to a third stage now, allowing for the insertion of even more powerful quartz. I actually got a sample of the RF group. It's, it's yours if you want to see how it works. After strengthening the slot with the specific with the Sepith, you should be able to plug the quartz in. Er, TR tier you are? Thank you for everything. No need for thanks, I'm just happy to see you again. Since you're home and all, make sure you get some R&R. &R. Alright, man. I can strengthen my weapons? Sure. I got plenty of you material to spare. I got no Sepith mats at all. Wonderful. Alright. I can upgrade a slot. A slot, specifically. No other slot. Wonderful. Maybe I should have put this in Altina. Oops. That's fine. I'll put it on you for the time being. Give it, give it to Altina when I can. Alright, so... Kurt, my boy. The scenery here is truly spectacular. It sure is. I've lived here most of my life and I'm still not tired of it. It's just a shame it doesn't last all year. Once the snow's gone, that's it. Still, I'm sure it's just replaced by the equally unique beauty of another season. You're not wrong there. You're more than welcome to visit again in another season if you want to see. I'd very much like that. Did you once practice your swordsmanship here? Sort of. It was further up the mountain, to be specific. Master Kafai and I spent about a month living out in the wilderness while he trained me intensively. The man that still has yet to show his face. I wonder if he will show his face in this game. Interesting. I've heard I've heard the RC school does a similar thing. That perhaps it's an Eastern manner of training that the RCs later adopted. Hmm. It's true that Eastern martial arts empathize with becoming one with nature, but I think in my case it was just net just because Master Kafai believed it'd be effective. Securing food food to eat and a place to sleep every day was hard enough, but sometimes he wouldn't even set monsters on me. Thinking back, I had to do all, I had to do some crazy stuff to make it through in one piece. And you're a glutton for punishment. I shudder to think what you must have gone through. <laughs> Ouch! Is that how you see me? <laughs> Forgive me. I didn't mean for it to come across as quite, quite, as quite so rudely. Still, perhaps I should try to train myself in the mountains sometimes. I apologize if I'm assuming wrongly here, but are you feeling frustrated with your progress? Oh no, I'm not. No, I suppose you're right. 
I happen to learn an ear if there's something you want to talk about. All right, then. This isn't a new concern of mine, but something I was reminded of when we were introducing ourselves to your parents. You and Altina have grown, si sig grown significantly since I first met them. And not just them, the same can be said about for Ash and Muse and the rest, all the rest of the students of the Academy. They've all matured significantly in the year we've, we've all enrolled. But, the, and, but then there's me. I don't feel like I've grown about more, all that much at all. I continue to train every day and I do, just, and I do feel as though I'm improving. I'm just a little frustrated by the pace. I think you only feel that way because you're more capable than most. What do you mean? In other words, you expect more of yourself than most people do. When you put your when you put your bar for success so high, it's only natural to be natural. It's going to be hard to surpass it. That's just reality. But that makes it sound as if I've got barely any room for improvement. That's definitely not the case. It's going to be more difficult for you to make significant pro progress than before. But you've grown. <clears throat> you've been overcoming that for a while. Last year, he faced off against Prince Cedric and overcame many trials before that. But you weren't content to rest on your laurels. In six months since, you've never stopped working to better yourself. I think you're the only one who can't see how much progress you've made. As your instructor, I know better than anyone how, just how much you've impo improved. So, have confidence in yourself, Kurt. Thank you, instructor. Of course, don't take that as me telling you to be content with how you are and stop trying. One dream of it. I have no intention of slowing my pace. At least not until it's surpassed you. Wow, sounds like I've got a good reason to keep bettering myself then. Well, I'm gonna get going, but we have the Phoenix Wings that are to ourselves today. I'd recommend you take the chance to re relax in the hot springs while you can't while you have it. That sounds wonderful. I might stay here a moment to collect my thoughts and then head over then head over. Do it. It's a hot spring. You love hot springs. Everyone loves hot springs. What's going on in the bar? Well, well, look who's back. Glad to see you're doing well, Reen. Likewise, you're in as good mood as ever, Gerald. Now, and I can see why. You got quite a few customers for this time of the year. Yeah, right after the war ended, hardly anyone, hardly anyone was coming in. Looks like things are finally getting back to normal. Since tensions between the neighboring nations have calmed down a bit, we're getting more, even more guests than usual. Nothing beats Sam to peace. You got that right. Now then, since you're here and all, how about I teach you one of our recipes? Me one of your secret dishes. Are you sure about this, Gerald? Of course, you all use recipe books too, right? If you jot down one of my specials, you'll be able to prepare it whenever you want. Here, help yourself. A recipe of, of my own, of one of my specials, and then greens to whip it up. Ooh. Greens as well? Really, this is much too, this is much too kind. I don't get to see you as often as I'd like, so at least do me this much. Oh boy. I know you're, you're keeping plenty of busy out there, but take care of yourself. Make sure you're eating right. Of course, I'll take that to heart. Oh boy. What's Ash doing down here? Hey man, what's up? What are you up to over here, Ash? Nothing much, just wandering around. But man, there's sure is a lot of snow left and down, left down this way. Well, we gen don't generally use this path, so there's no point in removing any of the snow that builds up here. It just stays until it mounts. I guess it makes sense if you've got the cable car anyway. Something on your mind? Kinda. A while back I heard someone talk about a sport you can basically only do on a snowy mountain. Just can't remember the name though. Snowboarding? That's the one. I heard something about using a special board to ride all the way down to the, mount to the bottom of the mountain. I figure that's gotta be, there's, gotta be, there's gotta be enough snow to do here to do that, right? Though I'm thrilled that you're so interested in snowboarding, that would be really a bad idea. Why? You gonna tell me, oh, Ash, most of the snow's already melted, you're gonna die a horrible death or something? Well, screw that. Life's no fun without a bit of risk. To be fair, you did hit most of what I was gonna say. But yeah, there's no chance I'll let you snowboard in this. <laughs> Lame. If you really want to give snowboarding a try, though, you're more than welcome to come back here in the winter. I'll even teach you myself. Ha! <laughs> I'd surpass you in no time flat. I'd like to see you try. I'll have you know I'm the top of the leaderboards every, every, for every course here. Man, when you get hooked on something, you really get hooked. Do, you do get hooked, huh? But don't forget, I'm I'm from Merkul. I grew up gambling to put food on the table. 
There ain't no game. There ain't a game I can't win. I'm not afraid to loot and embarrass you on your own turf. Well, that sounds like a challenge to me. Can't wait to see what comes out on top. Just remember that you're not allowed to be any to bet anything on the outcome unless we do it after you graduate. Bah! You and your damn rules. Huh. <laughs> All right, so the Phoenix Wings. Oh, that's the cable car. Oops. Wait. Uh, oh, it's up there. So I just want to take a dip in the hot springs. Yes. Looks like someone got here before me. Maybe it's Kurt. It's her. Major. I'm sorry. I wouldn't have come in if you had known you were here. True, we're long overdue for a talk. Well, if you're comfortable with it, then I'd love to. Dad, mentioned how the RMP must be busy, really busy now. How are you holding up? You aren't overworking yourself, are you? Thank you for your concern, but please, put that worry out of your mind. My work sometimes comes with unexpected benefits, like being able to visit the hot springs here, for instance. <laughs> I suppose that is true. The RMP is being re restructured to having its military capacity for downsides at the same time, so I can't deny that I'm busy. But that's true for so many other things right now. I don't think I have the right to complain. What do you mean, what do you mean by being reconstructed? Re restructured. Reconstructed. Does this relate to how the RMP and the Intelligence Division don't answer directly to the government anymore? Yes, because of that we aren't going to have the same the kind of freedom we used to have. And I believe that we'll still be able to protect the Arabonia, people of Arabonia in a different way than the army like before. I see. The RMP isn't being rolled into the army though, right? Correct, although that possibility was being considered at one point. In the end, it didn't happen thanks to the part, in part to General Van Dyke and provisional government head Regnitz. It's not possible that it could lead to a power struggle in the future, unfortunately. Thought I believe the Empire needs, needs something that with a chain of command separate from the army that can serve as a deterrent. To avoid power gathering in, the pl in one place again, you mean? Exactly. Thor's and its graduates, myself included, are expected to serve as another kind of deterrent as well. The reason being that the school's students and teachers are all alike of so exert influence in various fields and have all kinds of connections. I see. With someone charged with helping raise the next generation of Thor students, I suddenly feel even more pressure. As you should, we're all counting on you. リーさん。今さらかもしれませんが、本当にありがとうございました。クリア少佐。総国のこと、ミリアムちゃんのこと、こんな私と向き合ってくれたこと。そしてオズボーン閣下の真の望みを叶えてくれたこと。このようなこの調子が良く聞こえるかもしれませんが、こうしてまたクレア少佐の笑顔が見られただけでも頑張った甲斐があった気がします。あなたという人は本当にそういえばもう一つ今のリーンさんに聞いておきたいことがあるんです。今度は何
もちろん幸せですよ自分のことクローやミリアムのこと正直誰一人欠けることなく黄昏を乗り越えられるとは思いませんでしたもちろん望んでいたことではありましたけれど心の底でどこか叶わないと諦めていた気がしますいくつもの別れもありましたが今もこの先も大切な仲間や教え子たちと共にあり続けられるあなたも含めてその幸せをかみしめている自分がいますそうですかでもちゃんとではありませんねあなたは頑張った自らが消えてしまう可能性や仲間を失う恐れ肉親との別れも乗り越えて大切な仲間や多くの人たちと共に黄昏に打ち勝ちましたかけねなしに世界の危機を救ったと言えるでしょうですがその結果得られた幸せとは別にいえ幸せだからこそ感じる影があるそうではありませんか参りましたさすがクレアさん全部お見通しですねあなたの言う通り俺は目の前の幸せに戸惑っています手を伸ばせば確かに触れられるのにそれを受け入れきれない自分もいる俺が戦争初日で犠牲になった人々を差し置いて黄昏の引き金を引いた超本人である俺が果たして幸せになっていいのか許されていいのかこんなこと私に言えたぎりはありませんがそれを決められるのは他ならぬリーンさんだけですそうなのかもしれませんが私も同じです同じだからこそわかるんです最初にリーンさんから働きすぎではないかと心配されましたけど私は多分食材のために必死に働いているのだと思いますそれは大丈夫ですよリーンさんこれでも私計算は得意な方なんですちゃんと自分に問題がないような線を引いて頑張っていますから無理はしていませんリーンさんやミリアムちゃんたちの幸せを見守りながら何かを成し遂げるたびに私は少しだけ自分を許すことができるでしょう今すぐは無理でも少しずつ少しずつそうやって自分の中で折り合いをつけて許していつかきっとまた自分を好きになれる日が来るはずです何と言いますか大人ですね<笑>ずるいだけですでも俺はリーンさんには難しいでしょうあなたはどこまでもまっすぐだからこんなやり方では自分を納得させられないかもしれませんそれでも無理難題だと分かっていてもどうか自分の幸せを受け入れてみてくださいクレアさんそれにリーンさんがちゃんと幸せにならないと私も自分を許すことができそうにありませんそれはそれこそずるいですねええずるい大人ですから。At any rate, we'll catch cold just staying around like that, you know? Why don't the three of you come and join us in the water? I suspected we won't be able to evade your notice. For what it's worth, I did feel kind of guil guilty listening in. We didn't hear all your conversation, though. Please don't worry on that count. <laughs> it's on me for not watching what I said in a public place. Instructor Claire really is amazing. All I end up doing is letting our instructor listen to my problems. I couldn't possibly help with his. You okay, Yuna? I suspect she's thinking about how much she would like to wash your back. Much like I once did. As if I was thinking such a... 
Wait, you did what now? How, unto how untoward of you both. Listen, um, <laughs> you aren't gonna deny the allegations, I see. Listen, there was a very good reason for what happened. <laughs> After Rain was taken to the task of fixing his past transgressions, Kurt and Ash came to join everyone in the spring. The group then enjoyed a relaxing time together laying the soothing waters, melt the stresses away, if only for a moment. It's nice. I wish I can go to a hot spring. Ah, that felt amazing! I'm jealous you've had it since you had a place like this so close so close by all, by, by all your life, Instructor. Yeah, I get why she, she's so addicted to hot springs now. I knew you'd all come to understand in time. Well, if everyone's sufficiently rested, I think it's best to be departed. Are you all ready? You mean... Here it comes. I take it you're finally going to enlighten us as to why we summoned you here. We're going out into the valley, I assume. Correct. Please follow me. You all, you all have your answers soon enough. Oh, well, party member. During a character's turn, I don't need this at all. I fear. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Gotta go with old Tina. Alright. To the valley! Oh shit, maybe not the valley. We're at, we're at 56 minutes. Oops. <clears throat> There's snow as far as the eye can see. It's just like, it's like this area of the, of the mountains is still stuck in the middle of winter. People usually don't trek this far out, so the snow remains, remains fresh. It's also a little colder here because of the mountain stream too. I thought that might be it. It's so beautiful. Does the water come from the melted snow? Yeah, it's still freezing cold though, so watch your step and don't fall in. Actually, that reminds me of there was a really nice fishing spot around here. Maybe you're the one who needed that war that warning fish for brains. <laughs> you should make your way up the path. Keep your eyes peeled, everyone. The slightest mistake from this point could cost you your life. There do seem to be a lot of monsters here. The path is narrow, so avoiding battles will be difficult. Whatever, we've dealt with way worse than these, than these chumps. It wouldn't hurt to be cautious. True. Let's make our sure equipment and ornaments are ready to go before we start climbing the path. She's planning something with that man we saw. Unfortunately, we're at that time, so I'm gonna call it quits. When we come back, we will head up the mountain. See what what the whole deal is with that whole opening segment. And uh, we'll go from there. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you then. Later. <laughs>